Hi, if you've got trouble with your VHF radio, there are a few things you can do to check the antenna before sending the radio in for repair. The most common problems are a damaged cable or poor connection at the plug. Where possible, do a visual inspection of the cable, looking for cracks, breaks or squash points. This may involve standing on your head in a locker, but it's worth the effort if you can locate a damaged bit which you'll want to cut out and use an inline connector to join up the ends. Next up, the PL259 plug that goes into the VHF. If it doesn't look corroded or damaged, you can do a test with a multimeter between the core and the shield. But you'll need to know from the antenna's manual whether you're looking for an open circuit, closed circuit, or a resistance value in between, because not all antennas are made the same. This test is only for the cable, not the antenna itself. To test the antenna, you need an SWR meter, which will highlight problems like low output power, high standing wave ratio in the antenna, and faults in the receiver. The lower the SWR reading, the better you're transmitting. Look for an SWR of less than three to one, ideally 1.5 to one. Here's a tip if you haven't got an SWR meter. Tune into the busiest VHF channel in range. Disconnect the antenna cable from the radio and listen for receive quality. Then reconnect just the centre pin into the radio, keeping the outer part clear. You should get better reception than with no plug. Now insert the plug completely and tighten it up. Reception should improve again. If it gets worse, there's a short circuit or the antenna is faulty and needs to be replaced. Thanks for watching and as ever, please like and follow to get more short boating equipment videos.